Hi Virgo, welcome to your December monthly reading. Begin right away with a general tarot, then I'll clarify that reading with another deck, and I'll finish off the video for you with an oracle card. You might hear my dog playing in the background. <laughs> We're in a hotel, so he's ready to go for a hike. <laughs> okay. Current energy for Virgo. Oh, two of wands. So this came up for Taurus. So you might want to check out that video. It has a similar vibe. Um, it was about moving out of your comfort zone, taking a risk, seeing the globe and the VW with the surfboard and going on an adventure that is of your choosing. Starting a new business, possibly too. Taking a risk that way. Oh yeah, high priestess. So you are trusting your intuition on this move. I feel like your higher self was telling you that it was time to do something new, time to go somewhere new. That's the feeling I'm getting. Past your outside influences. Virgo. Oh, the Emperor. Let's pull one more card because <laughs> I'm feeling a weird vibe, but we'll see. Okay, Nine of Cups. Okay, I take that back actually. It's about moving towards your Nine of Cups. It's becoming your own Emperor, taking the lead on making your dreams a reality by trusting yourself here with the high priestess <clears throat> excuse me and then moving that fire forward with the two of wands i am feeling though for some of you it could be the nine with this nine of cups and high priestess it feels like you're moving away from this emperor here so there was possibly a weird vibe in your past masculine energy that was one making you want to move away <laughs> from it from it knight of pentacles yeah it's still this movement away from this vibe all the cards are going this way and he's even looking that way too so knight of pentacles is about planting roots it's my card of earthing always so taking off the shoes and grounding down that energy into reality and also doing the practical work and that will bring you those coins <clears throat> and build your business also uh, earth earth energy earth sign younger earth sign could be in your life let's see clarify this and the hierophant i feel like this is still your own journey with the high priestess and then this card as well just uh grounding down that energy but it's good because you have the water you have fire earth so it's feeling balanced as far as all the elements Ooh, page of cups so how your person or situation feels about you if this is a love reading for you they see you as being something that is popping into their mind a lot so you're coming into their vision a lot it's also a synchronistic event so there are things happening around them that are reminding them of you there's a lot of signs all those trippy little things that will bring you the sense of that person it can also be this emperor moving more into the page of cups so being more in the heart space and less focus on other things becoming less controlling to you and more open to just the experience of water and the emotion of the cups. Oh, the devil reverse flies out. <laughs> no. Okay. I only do reversals if it flies out that way. I really feel like this is about letting go of the constraints that are pre preventing you from having this wish fulfillment and going for your dreams. You have to let go too of this 
the control that can come with the emperor and the devil card. Also letting go of any addictions, if there's addiction issues, that'll block you from having your wish fulfillment here too. Whoa, okay. The wheel. So intentions moving forward is possibly going in this new direction. So you're taking control of your life. You could see she's on top there feeling really good as she's moving forward. And I love it above the high priestess because it's saying you're trusting your intuition in this move. It's something that's coming from source, from a higher place. Okay, let's clarify the wheel and the two of wands. Yes, page of wands. So as you make this new move, this new adventure, I want to say, it will build up the fire in your creative energy. You can see the vortex. There'll be a lot of joy, a lot of physical movement feeling too. Dancing, walking, running, hiking. Okay, message from the universe for Virgo. This one. Ooh, nine of swords. So you might still be having some sleepless nights or anxiety or worry or depression over something that happened. I'm still feeling with this emperor and the devil reversed. So let's see how to get out of this nine of swords vibe for Virgo. Ten of swords. Well, at least you're ending the cycle. The nine of swords to the ten of swords. You can, it was a betrayal or something happened and it's time to walk away and put those swords down. It's not worth it anymore, I'm feeling. Because the lesson was to go into this space, to your inner world, to the spiritual side where everything is always amazing. That place within yourself that is peaceful and joyful, no matter what is happening outside of you. Ooh, seven of wands. I was going to clarify with another deck, but this came up. So that's really important to protect yourself. This is my protection card. Build that bubble up around you because there could be haters down here or just people that don't have your best interest at heart. Emperor, the devil, reverse, whatever you're feeling in that way. Just go. <laughs> just go. Okay, clarify. The Page of Cups and the Devil Reversed. What's going on? This vibe for Virgo. This one. Okay, Queen of Wands. I like that. This for me is about taking back your power and knowing that you are in control of the direction of this Two of Wands, of this flame that's going up to the page. And then into the queen here also the seven of wands here that's going to help you to maintain that queen vibe with the fire and that's also how your person or situation sees you they see you as a queen or vice versa that really fiery energy i feel like it's also saying that your power is so much more powerful than this devil reversed or this emperor could ever be. And the Hierophant again, I love this. Clarification for you. This is the vibe <laughs> for, can I do this? this angles? <laughs> My new angle. Okay. The vibe for December. So going within, going into nature, going within yourself and feeling that really positive energy there. I love that. Okay, let's clarify this Nine of Swords. 
or actually seven, nine, and ten of swords. Oh no, sorry, it's the seven of wands. Sometimes the seven of wands feels like a sword to me. <laughs> One more to clarify, then I'll do an oracle card. Ooh, Prince of Wands. So I feel I like this with the Queen. And then you also have the Page of Wands, so there's so much fire backing you. I feel like this is the element to focus on this month, even though you're an Earth sign. There's nothing wrong with embracing the fire <laughs> for December and then moving forward into the new year. All right, Oracle card to finish the reading for Virgo, my earth sign. I'm a Virgo rising, so I always enjoy these readings. Precognition. Psychic Ability, Future Vision, number 13, the number of the goddess. I love that. So knowing that these abilities are real, you could be tapping into this or experiencing this within your life. It's just a nice reminder that when you focus on your future vision, that you can create that reality for yourself. And also to focus on that as you end this cycle here. To focus on your future vision with the wheel and the high priestess with the two of wands moving forward and then obviously with the hierophant twice as you go within your psychic abilities will increase and then your future vision will become even brighter so wow i think i'll leave it there virgo hope you found some clarity from this reading enjoy the rest of december hope to see you for the mid monthlies if not in the new year. Wow. Okay, bye for now.